seropositive disease, the ankylosing spondylitis is a seronegative disease, my dear. Rheumatoid artery is the appendicular joints involvement, especially. But the most important joints, the SI joints, yes, sacroiliac joints, plus spine mite. The disease and pathognomonic, pathognomonic joints involvement. Yes, of course, the rheumatoid artery is the single joints that you need to know. Yes, my dear doctor, I'd like to discuss a very important things, my dear. And one of the important SS box in this board that will be really helpful, my dear, for exam. So, my dear, listen very carefully. I'd like to discuss the pathognomonic joints involvement in the different rheumatological disorders that are very, very hot topic for the exam, my dear. Let me start onto the board, my dear. So, yes, my dear, on the, on the left hand side, that yes, you need to write down, this is very much important that we need to write down the box, my dear, SS box, once again. On the left hand side, we need to write down the disease. Diseases. On the right hand side, we need to write down pathognomonic. Yes. Pathognomonic joints involvement. Means which joints are involved, knowing the facts so that you can make your diagnosis. Very simple and very important. Yes, my dear. Pathognomonic joints involvement. So very hot topic for the exam, my dear. Yes. Pathognomonic joints involvements. So let me start with the very important disease that is our rheumatoid arthritis. So yes, you can write down the rheumatoid arthritis. In rheumatoid arthritis, the, we already learned the symmetrical polyarthritis of the small joints of the hands, but the small joints most typically the MCPs, my dear. So you need to write down MCPs, means the metacarpophalangeal joints and PIPs, my dear, means the proximal interphalangeal joints, not the distal interphalangeal joints, my dear, means the dips. So the metacarpophalangeal joints and PIPs and later on maybe the wrist joints, my dear. So this is one of the important thing, my dear, that you need to remember. So pathognomonic joints in bald mans are the MCBs and the PIPs and then the wrist, my dear. Now we would love to write down the end of the disease. So we can write down the rheumatoid arthritis. And next one is, yes, ankylosing spondylitis. In contrast to the rheumatoid arthritis, a seropositive disease, the ankylosing spondylitis is a seronegative disease, my dear. Rheumatoid arthritis is the appendicular joints involvement, especially. Appendicular means that we have the two upper limbs and the two lower limbs. So these are appendicles, my dear, of our body. In contrast, we have a trunk, we have the axial joints. So A4 ankylosing spondylitis, A4 axial joint involvement, my dear. So yes, the ankylosing spondylitis, the pathognomonic joints involvement is nothing but the A4, we can write down the axial joints involvement. The axial joints are nothing but, yes my dear, you say the ankylosing spondylitis, so definitely the spine joints, but the most important joints, the SI joints, Yes, sacroiliac joints plus spine mitre is the axial joints. So this is the most important thing that we need to learn. Similarly, yes, the ankylosing spondylitis mitre. So A4 ankylosing spondylitis, A4 axial joints in bulbous mitre. Now we would love to write down gout mitre. So the gout, typical joints involvement, if I'm writing, this is nothing but the first MTP mitre, means the metatarsophalangeal joints, the gout mitre, yes. 
gold mine. First MTB. In contrast to the sheer gold, sheer gold. Yes, my dear. Usually the large joints. Yes, we can write down the large joints, but especially a single joints that we need to know the knee joints, my dear. Yes. So the gout is the first MTB, and the shear gout is the large joints, the knee joints, my dear. Next, we can write down that is the osteoarthritis, my dear. If you write down the osteoarthritis, yes, osteoarthritis joints are so many joints are involved, but we need to know, my dear, very, very important, that is the deep smile, distal interphalangeal joints. And sometimes the base of the thumb and also some weight bearing joints like the knee joints, yes, other joints as well. But yes, we need to know these joints very well. And here, yes, the deep smile. So these are the pathognomonic joints involved in my dear. Very important box for the exam that you must know. If you know them very well, you'll do the best, my dear. So I'd like to get down once again. This is very much important. Rheumatoid arthritis, if I'm saying the disease and pathognomonic, pathognomonic joints involvement. Yes, of course, the rheumatoid arthritis is the single joints that you need to know the MCPs, my dear. But that should be symmetrical if I'm writing a symmetrical involvement. So the MCPs and the PIPs, not the dips. And A for ankylosing spondylitis and A for axial joints involvement. And for the gout, is the first MTP, yes, first metatarsophalangeal joints. And for the sheer gout, there is the knee joints, the single joints, and osteoarthritis is the deep joints, my dear. So yes, my dear. So this is very important that I'm saying once again, I'm revising once again the rheumatoid arthritis, once again the MCPs, ankylosing spondylitis, axial joints, gout, first MTB, shear gout, knee joints, osteoarthritis, and deep smile. So once again, rheumatoid arthritis, MCP is my metacarpophalangeal joints. So the rheumatoid arthritis, MCPs, Ankylosing spondylitis, axial joints, and next the gout is once again the first MTBs, yes, my dear, first metatop of national phalangeal joints, and next the shear gout is a knee joint, you need to remember, and next getting down, the osteoarthritis is a deep smile, yeah, you need to remember. I hope that my dear, knowing the facts, you will do the best. Thank you, thank you very much.